In this tutorial I will use cylinder because it's more organic. So create 12 sided cylinder, move it and scale to match torso. Do not add additional division, just scale and move it at first. Remember to switch the view from time to time to check the position and the volume of your shape. Make all necessary adjustments before you start adding details. Next right click and convert to edible poly. Use existing vertexes and reshape mesh to match torso silhouette. Start with the side view first and then switch to the front view. Do not worry about breasts. You add them later. Just concentrate on overall shape. Take your time. This is very important step in character modeling process. That creates space for all details that you need to add later. Add additional divisions by selecting edges and using connect option. Each time you add new vertexes or edges, you should use them to reshape body before you add additional division because it is easier to manipulate low poly mesh. After you reshape torso to your liking, you can delete half of it and apply symmetry modifier. When the symmetry modifier is applied to the mesh, any edits you make to the original half of the mesh will be reflected on the other half as well. Next, you need to create crotch area and prepare openings for the legs. Reshape hip area in front and in side view as well. Next, select front and back edge of the crotch area and bridge them. Set segment value to 2. Reshape crotch area again and start working on the leg. Create 8 sided cylinder and reshape it to match leg template. Use the same procedures as you have previously for the torso. Right click and convert to edible poly. Spend time on the knee. This area will bend when animated. Use constraints to move the edges to the proper position without affecting mesh. As you're working on your leg, remember to prepare space for the foot. Use extrude function to do that. Also, adjust top of the leg before you attach it and weld. Remember to delete the polygon on the top of the leg before you use target weld. Next, weld leg to the torso or vice versa. After you finish welding, make adjustment to the leg and to the torso. Reshape them to the proper form. Next, create foot. Select two or four polygons in the front view and extrude them. And then reshape them to the proper form. Apply the same process as you did when you created torso and the legs. So reshape the foot to your liking and again try to keep low poly. At the same time, pay attention to topology and reduce any multi-site polygons that have over four sides. As you work on your model specific area, try to take short break from time to time. Because after some period of time, you will stop seeing mistakes you might have created. So take a short break and revise your work before you add next part. Next, prepare space for the arm. Use connect option. To create actual arm, 
you need 8 sided cylinder. Next move rotate and place cylinder in proper position and use the same steps as you did previously. Always take your time and never give up. If something is hard to fix, then model it again. As you're working on the arm, remember to make adjustment to the elbow. The elbow is a little tricky because it needs to bend when animated. Try to make all necessary adjustments to the arm as well as to the torso before you combine both pieces. After you finish all the adjustments, select torso, click attach button and select the arm. Next, you need to create connection between arm and torso. So select corresponding polygons and click bridge button. Next, make adjustment to newly created underarms and surrounding areas. Reshape mesh to fit your character template before you start working on next body part. As you work on your model, remember to save your work from time to time. Next model character hand. Use your favorite tutorial or one from my channel. Import hand to your scene and place it in proper position. Attach to the arm and weld both meshes together. Use target weld to connect corresponding vertexes. Make adjustments and reshape newly created connection. Next, create the head. Use your favorite tutorial and import it to your scene. Next, move scale and place head in proper position. Adjust overall shape to match your character template. After you complete necessary adjustments, attach head to the torso and weld them together. Use target weld to connect corresponding vertexes. Sometimes you need to create extra edge loop to adjust topology, especially in places that stretch. Use cut tool to complete this task. Make adjustments and reshape newly created connection. Next you may add claws or breasts. I'll add breasts. First, I need to prepare area where breasts will be located. So, I need to make some adjustments. First, I reposition edges on the torso and adjust topology again. Use cut tool to complete this task. After that, move vertexes, delete unnecessary edges and verts. Then create additional edge just under designated breast area. To create breast use 8 sided sphere. So create sphere, scale, rotate and change segment count to 8. Next move it to proper position and convert to edible poly. Next scale, move, rotate and reshape the breast to your liking. Make all necessary adjustments before you attach it. Select torso, click attach button and then breast. Switch to poly, select four facing polygons on the torso and the breast and then click bridge button. Set segment value to 2. Next reshape the breast to your liking. Adjust the position, size and smoothness. Use link constraints from time to time to move the edges and vertexes without affecting actual shape. 
there are different techniques to create the breast. Use one that works best for you. From time to time use smoothing groups to smooth areas that you are working on. If needed adjust vertexes and edges again. Now let's create simple hair by selecting part of the head that resembles hairline from character template. After that duplicate selected mesh by holding down shift button and pulling selected mesh up. Next detach it and center pivot point to newly created mesh. Rescale, reshape hair base and start reshaping it as one piece. You may delete half of it and apply symmetry modifier if character hairstyle is symmetrical. So keep working on the character hair Use connect option to add additional edges and vertexes. Keep poly count low and clean topology. To create my character hairstyle, I need to prepare space for hair bun and then extrude it. When you create extrusion as shown, Please remember to delete hidden polygons. Otherwise you will have opening in your mesh after you collapse symmetry modifier. Next collapse modifier stack and create hair banks by selecting few polygons in the front and cloning them. Move rotate hair piece to match character template. Adjust the angle and the shape to your liking. I hope you found this revised version of the tutorial useful. Please see older extended version if you prefer to watch without narration. Thank you.